Let's do it. Perilous Pillars. Oh, and it's a long one, too. Find the four runes. Ooh, water texture. Yeah, stick around. I'm, uh, I'll play yours after this. I think after this one, I'm going to take a break for like a split second to make sure I'm in prime fighting condition. Because after Mazu's map, I'll admit I got a little worn out. Oh boy. Excuse me. Damn it. Oh, that's a big secret. Oh, really a big secret. I would say it's a little obvious and the reward is very big. We're probably going to need it though. Can I surf this? I was about to ask, like, is it just that maybe I'm getting tired since I have played through like eight maps by now? Or is it that these maps are just a little intense? 4LT says that he found this one intense too. And it seems like Greenwood's a little stingy on the ammo this time around. said what? Wood platform lowered. I don't know what wood platform we're talking about. Uh, this must be it. I guess if I wasn't swarmed by the fiends I would have seen it through the stairs there. Oh. You know I remember Ceremonial circles really bombarded you with ogres, too. But man, these guys are unrelenting. Interesting choice to include some doom textures. They don't look out of place. I'll leave that guy alone, he's helping. Did not expect that. Oh. I didn't quick save. Sorry. What can I say? It was just, uh. It was too much. I remembered a quick save this time. Let me grab this shotgun too, because I hate having to use the regular shotgun for, for long periods of time.
check that out. I guess it's good to have friends in high places. Like, I, I get it. It's a big map and you want to fill it with monsters. But damn. Everybody. Everybody hates you. And wants you dead. They don't want you to admire the brushwork. Take in the atmosphere. They just want you to... Alright, I'm out of here. I'll quick save. So that... Oh, wait. I just remembered there was a secret over here I didn't get this time. Hey, you can see that from a mile away. But in a way, it's good because you really need it. Like, I think this amount of monsters requires more than just a nail gun and super shotgun. Like, I need a super nail gun or, like, a, or at least a grenade launcher to make this, like, a play a little bit less grindy. And again, that just might be my tiredness talking. Oh, come on! <laughs> I was trying to jump around him. What in the world, man? I guess I'm just having a hard time. That's it. We're clutching it. <laughs> but Greenwood, you managed to make a map that is very close to Mazars in terms of style. It's big, it's kind of winding. And it's intense. But because it's big, there's little bits of uh, ammo and health everywhere, which is pretty nice. I like this little walkway. Now that it's cleared out. Oh yes, that's what I need, a quad. Unload all my frustrations. We can have some peace and quiet in this place. I 
have no idea where I'm supposed to be going right now. Ah, uh, yes. I think I missed this room. find the runes. We found one of them. There's an arrow on this door, or this wall here. But, let's see. that one without eating a couple grenades. Go. There it is. Just not sure how to get there. Probably try a grenade jump, but I want to do it legit. I like that you have to take these bold jumps. Like you gotta make these bold jumps to get around. So I could use the exit. I think it's over here, right? the start. So where's this exit? Or is there just no escape from this place? Drama, the peril. I think one thing that would have been great would be like a kind of shortcut system where once you reach a certain level, it opens up a shortcut so that the player doesn't have to rely on that one way up. 
constantly. I feel like this map suffered the same issues that Mazu's map suffered, and that's that uh, instead of easing the player into gradually difficult, uh, gradually difficult um, encounters, he's just giving it to you all at once, you know. Especially up front, I think one of the problems with that is that you get it all up front. The moment you spawn, there's dudes shooting grenades at you, there's dudes throwing fireballs, etc. And it it doesn't let up until the number of monsters starts to dwindle. Um, I missed 20% of the monsters. No, yeah, it's, it's the rockfish bug. Royalty. Got it. Uh, there was like a ton of mon a ton of rockfish. But that's the other thing. You try and get away from the, the monsters by getting in the water, and there's more monsters in the water. So it's like no matter which way you go, you're you're cornered. You know? Uh, and I think you need to let the player breathe a little bit before getting into that. There should be... Kind of like a movie. There should be like a... I don't know the words, man, but, you know, we're trying to build up to this climax, you know? Like, that quad damage was awesome because it felt like a climax where it's like, finally, I can take care of all these assholes that are trying to kill me. Um, but before that, it's like, you're trying to, you know, whittle down the monsters with with the, the little bits of of weapons that you have. I feel like the super nail gun could have been introduced sooner. It would have made for more interesting fights. Uh, but yeah. It was still good. I mean, I, I thought that the, the, the various levels and traversing them was nicely pulled off. Although it did feel a little linear, like there was only one path to take. Would have been good to... I know it's a speed map, but maybe you could rectify that with some shortcuts. Um, and if this was a more fleshed out map, then maybe you could have multiple paths that take you between the levels. Um, but yeah. I mean, it's still impressive stuff for like three days of work. So, can't take that away from you. <laughs> <laughs> 